Your heart is about the size of an enclosed fist. It's located here, a little bit more on the left side of the chest, although some people have dextrocardia where it's located on the right. That's really rare. Coming out of the heart, you have the aorta. That's the largest blood vessel in the body. It supplies blood to the legs, the arms, the brain. Then there's the vena cava, which is the largest vein in the body that returns blood to the heart. Now the heart itself has four chambers. We'll open it up here. You have the two smaller chambers on the top. These are the atria, the right atrium, left atrium, and then you have the larger chambers, the ventricles, right ventricle and left ventricle on the bottom. The atria serve to load blood into the ventricles, which are the more muscular chambers, in particular the left ventricle, which contracts very forcefully to pump blood around the whole body. In order to keep blood moving forward through the heart, you have four valves, the tricuspid valve, pulmonic valve, mitral valve, and aortic valve. And finally, you have the coronary arteries. So the heart itself is responsible for pumping blood to all the tissues in the body, but the heart is made of muscle. It needs its own blood supply. That's where the coronary arteries come into play. There are three large vessels, the left anterior descending artery, left circumflex, and the right coronary artery. These are critical to the functioning of the heart. If there's an interruption in blood flow to the heart muscle for any reason, we call this a myocardial infarction or a heart attack.